name is Christian Keeley. Um, I am the director of Global Ground Vehicle Standards for SAE International. I head up uh, the development side of the standards, along with testing and validation through some of the um, projects that we have. Um, some are government funded and some are uh, self-funded projects, and also some are industry funded projects um, that we do from testing and validation point of view, and I manage that as well. Um, and SA International, as you know, has been around for uh, over 100 years. Um, we have currently about 1,900 standards that we are actively maintaining, um, developing uh, new ones along with those, um, and continuously improving the standards that are currently out there of those 1,900 uh, that we have active. Um, we have obviously some closed standards, um, some standards that have um, collectively we have developed Ah, just in the automotive game, over 10,000 standards. Um, and currently, uh, again, as mentioned, we have 1,900 of those that we are currently maintaining, um, of which about uh, close to 11,000 SMEs, subject matter experts, that are maintaining those. Um, and we have committee managers that are, and I'd like to call them um, not just managers, but these guys are uh, subject matter experts themselves to a certain degree managing these committees and supporting these committees um, through the development process. Standards don't only benefit industry and support industry, obviously they benefit humanity at the end of the day. And our objective is, is, is to build knowledge through solutions, which are standards um, to help industry drive technology, drive innovation, drive sustainability, um, drive environmentally friendly standards um, that benefit humanity. Now, ultimately, everybody always asks the question, why standards? Well, standards are important for the industry because A, they reduce cost, they help industry um, through interoperability, they harmonize, and especially from a procurement point of view, they benefit industry on a global basis because everybody's working to a standard. Um, engineers, technical people, probably benefit the greatest um, because in, in, in organizations and industry benefits that as well, based on the fact that the engineers and the technical people, the resources that one house has, they don't need to focus everything and all their resources on developing particular technologies or standards. Um, they can have resources that are allocated to support an organization like SAE um, through our committees to, to and, and obviously a large task force or committee that is building these standards and developing these standards um, can benefit from that as well. Um, so for me, it's important to understand, again, standards benefit from a cost reduction point of view, standards benefit humanity, standards benefit um, industry as a whole through um, the process of procurement, quality, um, and technical development and innovation of products. Well, SAE International is obviously, the word international is critical and key. Um, we have, we participate as a consultant organization um, through the Working B9, as well as Working Group 1. We also support and, and do harmonization work with, with ISO through some of the, the, the committees that they have on a global scale, i.e. the TC204, heavily focused on cybersecurity and um, innovative uh, innovative technologies that are that are out there that are related to that. Um, and we support um, helping uh, to identify where regulations need standards or standards that already exist that can be included into the regulatory environment to help speed and accelerate um, deployment throughout the globe um, and help speed and accelerate um, the benefits from an environmental point of view, sustainability point of view, um, the benefits for the humanity. I am currently right now really, really excited. Um, and and, and it's, it's, it's an evolving standard. It's a standard that we're developing. And I actually was with an organization in, in Europe, at the EAA, the IAA, um, here just a few weeks ago, um, reviewing the technology that's involved with the standard um, has to do with wireless charging 2954. Um, obviously, we hear a lot about the J3400 or the NAX here in North America, which is a very exciting standard as it relates to getting perhaps more definitive solution for the North American region. Um, a, 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 
a standard that is important, um, but the wireless standard just excites me because I, I think of uh, charging your phone wirelessly is, is nice and handy and, and would love to do it with a vehicle. Um, and there are technologies out there and we're hoping to, by the end of this year, have at least a TIR already in the works. Um, we're going through some testing and validation here too.